Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from BJ Tech News. So, today's video is actually a video request. Um, I've been going back and forth with emails with this guy um, that he's been wanting to capture and sit prep an image using MDT 2012. But the catch is rather than capturing the C drive, he wants to capture the D drive. Interesting, right? So, he wants to capture the C drive, D drive create this custom image deploy it out on the floor to have the C drive which is the operating system and whatever he he's in the whatever he has in the D drive now this is my environment I actually have the thing running as I'm doing the video I didn't, I didn't want to like actually run the thing with you guys and just wait because as you can see capturing the thing is gonna take 43 minutes and I do not want to make this video 43 minutes so these are the steps that I did okay I created a task sequence called Capture OS, and I'm going to double click on it. And within the task sequence, at the very end of create the WIM file, which to create the WIM file is actually going to capture whatever is on the C drive, right? Now, the trick is how to capture the D drive. So, this is what I did I created a command, a run command line, and within the run command line, uh, the command line that I gave it was open quotations percent sign deploy root percent sign backslash tools backslash x64 backslash image x now x64 if you go to this particular location it's actually in your deployment share so I'm gonna actually show you guys hopefully my machine doesn't freeze because of everything that I'm doing so D drive deployment tools and within there you got a 6486 bit now Make sure you're using the correct folder. Now, I am trying to capture a 64-bit Windows 7 machine, so that's why I'm using the 64-bit. Got it? And imagex uh, forward slash capture D. Now, you got to make sure that the, the letter that you want to capture is the one that you really want to capture. So, what I did was on my virtual machine, this virtual machine right here, which is a Windows 7 machine, uh, I logged in. I make sure my C drive is there, live and live, and you know it's up and running. And I make sure I have a D drive. And the D drive, I created a D drive about two gigs, and I created a folder called BJ Tech News, and I created a text file say "Hello World." Right. So once I did that, uh, D colon space open quotations computer backup location percent sign uh, backslash d underscore drive dot wim so basically I want to capture the d drive and I'm gonna call it d underscore drive dot wim and that's gonna be the d drive okay so I'm actually testing this stuff out I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna wait or speed up the, the video I'm actually gonna cut it off right here and then once it's completed I'm gonna show you guys how everything works um, once you create the the task sequence right here you update your deployment uh, I didn't pixie boot out of my network and I, I didn't pixie boot what I did is I logged in into my Windows 7 machine I was at the desktop I went to my deployment share folder and I ran the I ran the deployment manually okay and once I ran the, the deployment manually the machine rebooted and it got to this portion right here what you guys see but if you go into my deployment share and go to my capture there goes my 002.win file, which is right now it's you know I'm capturing the C drive and I'm crossing my fingers it captures the D drive. Now once it captures the C drive and D drive, it is time to create your uh, you gotta create another task sequence and you have to import your win file into your operating system node, which is basically gonna be uh, the second part of this video. So I'll catch you guys later and hopefully everything works out, crossing the fingers, and on the second video I'm gonna show you uh, the D drive, WIM file, D drive, and how to import that stuff in and in the MDT, and we could deploy it and see if everything worked out. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.